Residents of all ages came to the Milton Sports Center to help clean up their community. Sustainable Milton, in partnership with the town of Milton, held a community cleanup this weekend. It was the first community cleanup Sustainable Milton held this year. Events coordinator Mary Brown is excited to see the number of people willing to help clean their community. We're quite uh, pleased to be able to start, you know, in April. It's, it's still a little cool outside, but we got lots of participation this year, even despite it was the Easter weekend. And um, we're really happy to, to get going. There's lots of trash out there. John Meyer, manager of forestry and horticulture at the town, said the design of the cleanup allowed for physical distancing from others. Family units are working together. We've separated things out in a neighborhood by neighborhood, so um, people can work independently nearby, or they can work in their own neighborhood and clean up their own neighborhood. And then they just email the information to the town and then we will we'll pick up the garbage as long as it's kind of, we're trying to centrally locate what they pick up into parks near receptacles and things like that. So there are protocols in place where people can just work independently together. Aaron Smith, along with the Milton Magic U12 girls soccer team, were one of the groups on hand for the pickup. They decided to trade their cleats in for some trash pickers and garbage bags. They thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to uh, contribute to our community. Milton is a wonderful place to live and to play and to work. Um, they enjoy working together on the pitch. So we thought that they would enjoy working together to kind of help clean up our community, which we get to play in. Milton MP Adam Von Coverden also helped out. He shared his trash haul on his Facebook page and encouraged residents not to litter. That's a wrap. Afreen and I got eight giant bags of garbage. It's got to be 200 pounds of garbage. It's mostly waste like bottles from beverages and fast food. So it's mostly things that people are throwing from their cars that are blowing around in the wind. So don't be a litter bug and get outside with a bag and a pair of gloves and pick up some garbage. Let's keep Milton clean. Fernanda Olagibo came to the cleanup to help combat climate change one piece of trash at a time. I keep getting angry because the world keeps dying and I want the animals to be safe. Olagibo has a simple message to those who litter. Pick it up and put it in the garbage and save the world. Both Sustainable Milton and the Town of Milton plan on holding more community cleanups this year. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Edward Dijan.